Okay, I don't want to start too late because I know everybody's time is valuable. So we'll go ahead and start things out and then people can join. And if anybody's got questions, they can ask along the way. <clears throat> so I am Dr. Jeffrey Glover. Uh, that's me up there in the right hand picture there. And this is our live training workshop on how to start fixing your low back pain today without prescription medications or surgery. So that's what we're going to be going over tonight. Now, this workshop is for you if you are sick of being in chronic pain all the time. If you want to heal your low back pain, but you aren't sure where to start, or you've tried a few things, but nothing seemed to fix it. Also, if you want a proven approach to diagnosing your low back pain. Also, you want to discover what the root cause of your chronic low back pain is. Now, this is for you if you're ready and willing to do what it takes to heal your low back pain once and for all. Now, this workshop is not for you if you aren't willing to try something new because you got to be open minded about stuff. OK, it's not for you if you want a quick fix. Anything worthwhile takes time, but I'll do my best to lay it out for you so it's super simple to follow. Now, what you can expect, I'll over deliver as much as I possibly can in the next 60 minutes. OK. Um, so we're going to go kind of fast, but I want to cover as much material as possible so we can help you out as much as possible. Now, you'll also discover some of my top secrets for going beyond the symptoms to pinpoint the root cause of what's going on. Now, you can expect total transparency into my approach for diagnosing and treating low back pain. This is the same system I use with my patients in the clinic setting. Now, what I'm going to need from you, I'm going to need your full attention and willingness to help me help you. Now I'm gonna need a positive attitude and a willingness to learn. Now also, if you can put your phone down and get off Facebook, I, just like everyone else, uh, love the Facebook, but uh, you, uh, some people are better at multitasking than others, but if you can devote a little bit of time to this, uh, uninterrupted, I think you're gonna get a really big benefit from it. Now, you want to focus with me here. This is going to be a game changer for your health, and I think you're going to be happy that you set aside this time. Now, we do have some uh, some bonuses. You stick around till the end. Uh, for people who want to start the program, we have our 21-day anti-inflammatory meal plan. We're going to be giving that away uh, free. So stick with me here. Now, during this workshop, you're going to learn how I'm able to help thousands of patients in my chiropractic clinic achieve a pain-free lower back. Okay. Now, you're also going to learn three mistakes that people make when they're trying to treat their chronic pain. You're also going to learn the lifestyle factors you can control in the healing process. And you'll learn my three-step approach I use to eliminate my low back pain because I just like you um, have had low back pain and fixed it. Now your low back, are you in the game or in pain? Okay, so we want you to be able to fulfill and do the things that you want to do, you know, your daily activities and enjoy yourself. Now, this is me over in the left. Now, before I became a chiropractor, I was very involved into working out, exercising, and what I did was I ended up uh, breaking my back by going too, too heavy one day in the gym. Now, I broke my back and it didn't heal correctly. And then that led me to chronic low back pain. And so that kind of got me on the, the journey of low back pain and how to fix it. Now, during that time, I felt hopeless after being stuck in bed on and off the couch for days. Um, I felt scared that my back would never be fixed because to me at that time, working out was everything. That was my drug, so to speak. I felt anxious to get back to my gym workouts. I felt sad that I couldn't do things like take out the trash, go for a walk or sit for a short period of time without this pain that just wouldn't go away. And I'm like, man, I'm too young for this. Now, after many visits to the doctor with no long-term relief, I decided to hit the books and do some research. I wanted to try a new approach to heal my low back. I was ready to do something different and fix my low back pain for good. Now, then I found the root cause of my back pain. I used an integrative approach to treating it 
And that is what changed my never ending cycle of pain symptoms. I discovered a strategy that worked. I found the root cause of my low back pain and the triggers that affected it so I could create a multifaceted treatment approach. And that's kind of what we're gonna go over tonight too, is that so you can see how we develop that. Now, fast forward, I became obsessed with wanting to share the same strategy with all my patients that suffer with low back pain and also getting the results that they were getting. Now today, I've helped heal thousands of patients in my clinic with the same approach I used to fix my own low back. Now, there's another picture of me, a little bit my, about my background. I graduated from the University of Central Florida with a Bachelor of Science degree, majored in physical science and psychology. And I also minored in fitness training. Like I said, I was uh, very into working out at the time. Um, a little backstory, one of the reasons I got into working out was I used to be morbidly obese and then I lost 180 pounds and then got in good shape. Um, so that's how I kind of got addicted to you know, fitness training. After I got my Bachelor of Science degree, I went to the Palmer College of Chiropractic where I received my Doctor of Chiropractic degree. And since then, some postgraduate studies I've done is with the San Diego Spine Research Institute that deals with mild traumatic brain injuries, whiplash traumatology. Um, I became involved with the Chiropractic Leadership Education and Research Institute that deals with structural correction like scoliosis and things like that. Uh, also, I became a certified chiropractic sports physician through the American Chiropractic Board of Sports Physicians and also uh, took a few courses through Harvard as well. Now, this is my family up in the top corner. That's myself and that is Gunner and that's my wife, Jada. Gunner is one and a half. Now, when I'm not seeing patients in the clinic, I'm volunteering in my community, cheering for Florida football teams and watching old school wrestling, uh, playing guitar and working out. Uh, the picture in the upper left-hand corner, that's me and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. He's a WWE Hall of Famer. So if anybody's into wrestling, they'll know, they'll know him. Uh, sport, this is a team that I sponsored. I try to sponsor a lot of youth uh, sports. And that's me playing guitar to Gunner, who is uh, very attentive and he's my, he's my biggest fan. <laughs> Now, about me, I tried just about every non-invasive therapy to fix my back. Now, flashback to 2007. Now, I did a lot of things right. I used chiropractic, I used heat, used ice, did physical therapy, I did massage, I did bed rest and, and couch rest, and also stretching and yoga. Now, I did a lot of things wrong too. I used anti-inflammatory drugs, I used narcotics, because at this time, you know, when you have low back pain, you're thinking I'll do anything to make it go away. Uh, and I wasn't patient because like everybody, we're, we kind of live in a fast food society. We want everything right now, okay? Um, I wasn't consistent and I didn't improve my diet. And while my diet wasn't great, I still had a lot to learn about nutrition and certain things that would cause inflammation and promote more pain. So there's a lot of things did right, a lot of things did wrong. Now, after doing this for 12 years, I discovered a three-step approach to diagnose and fix low back pain. I discovered how to get to the root cause of low back pain. I discovered an integrative approach to fix my low back. And I discovered how to prevent low back pain as well. Now, I discovered this the hard way. <laughs> you get to cheat and uh, get the easy way. So once we've kind of developed all this stuff. Now, throughout the hard way, now most people, they'll only treat the symptoms. Now, this is true for everybody, even physicians, because, you know, that's what we, that's what we go by. Okay, you know, my knee hurts. Well, something's wrong with my knee. So, you know, okay, we're going to inject it. We're going to do uh, something. We're going to give you these pills for this symptom. Um, so, and that's why they'll take medications. Um, to try stretching, but give up after a few days. Try fad pain relief techniques. I saw there was some kind of gimmick thing on TV. The latest one I saw was something called Dr. Ho relieves uh, back pain. So I'm not, I'm not sure if it worked. It might, you know, I'm not sure, but uh, there's a lot of hokey things out there. And also, you, you know, you need a support system. Um, so someone who's, who's there supporting you throughout it, because it's hard to empathize with someone unless you've been through it uh, yourself as far as with the pain. 
Now, what the easy way that will get you feeling great in six weeks? In the past 12 years, I've helped myself and thousands of patients eliminate low back pain. And I didn't do it without a proven strategy. Now, you have to be ready and you have to be willing to stay committed and put in the work if you want to see the results. It's like with anything, if you do the work, you can get results. Now, some common misconception is you have to have surgery to fix your chronic low back pain. That's not, not true, okay? There are many natural treatment techniques available uh, that are not, but they're not publicized in, um, by mainstream medical doctors, and most of the time because they aren't big money makers for them. So you tend to follow the money and you'll see, you know, why people are, are doing things. Well, I see a lot of people in my practice that, uh, you know, tried surgery first. Surgery is kind of a last ditch effort you want to try. You want to try other things before you, before you go surgery, but sometimes people jump to that first. But there's a lot of natural things we can do to help out. Though some people think stretching yoga is enough to fix it. Now, uh, I'm not trying to downplay this because stretching and yoga is amazing. And that's, that's one of the integral parts that we'll use to try to help people as well. But it's not the end all be all. It's, it's, one, it's one piece of the puzzle. Now, low back pain symptoms will never go away. Now, through a comprehensive treatment approach, patience and consistency, you can experience lasting relief. Now, are there things you're going to have to do to try to keep it at bay? Yes, because we're living creatures. We're constantly doing damage to our bodies. So we want to do everything we can to keep it that way. So there is some maintenance essentially that you'll have to do. Now, you, some common misconceptions, you may have to take pain medication for the rest of your life. Now, for flare-ups, natural pain management can be used in lieu of prescription painkillers and anti-inflammatory drugs. There's a lot of things out there that are that work great, that don't have the bad side effects and the uh, addictive properties that some of these medications do. Now, your lifestyle, nutrition, and sleep habits have nothing to do with your low back pain. A lot of people think, okay, it's just, you know, my low back pain, that's it. This is what the problem is. This is what needs to be fixed. Do something to my back. Now, that's important, but we have to be able to identify certain triggers that are making our low back worse. And that can be our sleep posture, our bed, what we're eating, uh, a lot of different things. So we have to be able to identify, okay, what is aggravating my low back? So I know not to wear these shoes, not to sleep this way, not to have this certain type of bed, not to use this many pillows. I mean, there's a lot of different things, which, you know, we're going to go over. <clears throat> now, three major mistakes most people make when trying to treat chronic pain. Mistake number one is they treat the pain symptoms and not the root cause. So you want to find the root cause so you can treat it. That way the pain will be fixed because there's a lot of different things that can cause low back pain. And we're gonna go over several of those a little bit later here, but, and there's different things you do to treat each one. So you can have, you can have something misdiagnosed and try to fix that and really actually be hindering yourself because you're treating the wrong diagnosis. So we wanna get to the root cause of it so we know what's happening, so we know how to fix it. That's very important. Mistake number two, they blindly follow other people's treatment advice or journeys. Now, everybody's health journey is different. What doesn't work for one person may work for you. So you want to be open-minded and trying something new. I'll have a lot of patients come in uh, to my office and they'll say, you know, they tried me, but their, their neighbor, Bob, told them that, you know, they, they had surgery and that's the only thing that fixed them. And they're just wasting their time by going to the chiropractor. They just go ahead and have surgery and get it fixed. Well, a lot of times when you have surgery, it's not as easy as it sounds and uh, it can be complications too. So what works for one person might not work for the other. So you got to focus on you and, and not compare yourself to others. And mistake number three is they give up. Now, patience, patience <clears throat> and consistency and dedication over time will give you results. And that's like with anything, with your, with your career, if you're trying to, to get in shape, or, or anything, okay? You just don't give up. Now, you can't keep doing the same thing that you've been doing and expect to get a different result. Now, that is the definition of insanity, okay? Nothing will change until you make a change. So this is all about empowering you because basically we're gonna try to give you the tools so you can help yourself.
Now, do you see how this can work for you too? So it's all you centered. Okay. It's not about me. It's about you. We're going to try to get you better. Now, how would you feel if I told you the next month you could pick up your child, you could go for a walk, go to the gym, bend down, all without low back pain. Now, we all have different things that make us make us do things like, okay, say with our low back. Okay, why are you, why are you here at this, this webinar? Is it because, hey, I can't, I can't pick up my kid? Okay, well, why, um, why can't you pick up your kid for low back pain? Okay, so you want to get feeling better so you can pick up your child or you can't go for a walk anymore. We have to find out that trigger because it's not just low back pain that you want to fix. That low back pain is getting in the way of something you want to do saying you can't go to the gym, you can't go for a walk, I can't go to the grocery store and get the stuff that I want to do without sitting down. Well, so that's a, a life effect we want to be able to help with. Now, but you won't get pain relief without a strategy in place. Now, most people are surprised to find out that the source of back pain isn't always about your back, and I'll try to explain. Now, how you walk, how you sit, what shoes you wear, how you sleep, and so many other things come into play when assessing your lower, lower back. Now, the three-step approach that we use, okay, the first one is finding the root cause. Now, how diagnosing the root cause of your low back pain leads to successful treatment, okay? So we want the root cause. Number two is recognizing the pain triggers. How to recognize those lifestyle triggers that you're doing in your life that are causing your low back pain or aggravating your low back pain once it's already there. So that's number two. Number three is creating an integrative treatment strategy, how to use a whole body approach to jumpstart your low back pain relief, which we're really gonna hammer this. Okay, so step one, the root cause. So this is some of the questions we would ask, say if someone came into the clinic trying to go on a fact finding mission to find out what the root cause is. Now, one of the questions would be, say, do you have pain while you're in a weight bearing position, which would mean if you're standing or walking around, okay, if you have pain doing that, or do you have pain more when you're sitting? Because that's going to be indicative of two different, you know, diagnoses of, of what's causing your pain. Do you have pain going from a sitting to a standing position? Okay. Now with me, so say with whenever I aggravated my back, the question, the answers that I had for those questions was I had, I had constant pain in my back and the pain was worse when standing. I couldn't stand up straight and I was actually bent to the left side. Yeah. And so basically what we're doing is we're just kind of showing you the step process that I'm going to try to help you go through. All right. So you want to identify what makes it feel better or worse. Also want to know, okay, where is the pain? Okay. Now I'll have a lot of times people in my office, they'll point, they'll say, oh, my hip hurts and they'll point to the low back and that's not their hip. So we need to actually know where the pain is coming from. So we're gonna go over some, and of course we're gonna go over some anatomy too, so we can really say, okay, yeah, this is your hip, this is your low back, this is your pelvis. So we are all on the same page anatomically and know, what, know what's going on. So where is the pain? Now, does it travel down your leg or what we call radiate? So sometimes we'll have pain that feels like, um, uh, goes down to our knees, sometimes all the way down to our toes. Sometimes it'll tingle. Sometimes it'll be numb. Um, now also have you had x-rays or an MRI? This will take out a lot of the guesswork because this will help us narrow down to a diagnosis rather quickly. We can see the disc degeneration. We can see arthritis. We can see fractures. We can see bulging disc, herniated disc, stenosis. So if you've got this, you're, you're really already ahead of the game in diagnosing things. Okay, so for me, I was in constant pain. The pain was worse when I stood up, you know, in a, so in a weight-bearing position. Now, laying down was the most comfortable position for me, and it felt better when I was flexed forward, and worse when I extended backwards. Now, whenever you know a bit about the anatomy, this makes more sense because your spinal nerves exit on the back part of your spine. And whenever you flex forward, the holes where the nerves go through get a little bit bigger. So say I had something putting pressure on my nerves. So when I flex forward, it opened up that hole where the nerve went through. And so it made it feel better because it wasn't pinching that nerve. Now, whenever you extend backwards, the holes where the nerves go through, they get smaller. So that was actually making my pain worse whenever I extended. So this would help us lead more towards a, a, a diagnosis, which we're going to talk about. 
Now, what type of pain is it? Okay, now is it burning? Is it sharp? Is it dull? Is it achy? Is it shooting? Now, all these can be indicative of different things. They're different buzzwords that help us lead to a diagnosis. Okay, now for me, the pain was sharp and stabbing in my back and it traveled down my leg to my knee and it felt like lava traveling down my leg. So anything hot like that, like lava burning, that tells you something is putting pressure on that nerve. Now, <clears throat> these are some of the different diagnoses it could be. So the, just for your low back, these are a majority of them, not all of them, but just some of them. So there's a lot of different things it can be and we treat each thing differently. So that's why it's so important to find out what the cause is so we know what to fix it and fix the right thing and not treat the wrong thing. So one thing could be piriformis syndrome. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with that, your piriformis is a muscle in your, in your glute where the sciatic nerve runs right past. Now, when that muscle gets inflamed, it can put pressure on that nerve and cause sciatic-like symptoms, just like a, say, a bulge disc or herniated disc could. Uh, but you treat it completely different. So we have to find out the cause so we can treat it appropriately. Now, it could be something from with your pelvis going on, or it could be the facets of your low back or your lumbar spine. Those are the joints that glide motion, okay? So those can get irritated and cause pain. It could be bursitis. Now, bursitis is our fluid-filled sacs that go between the ligaments and tendons and your bones. Now, when those fluid-filled sacs get inflamed, you get bursitis. Uh, now, that's, that's common a lot of times in the, in the hip, in the shoulders, um, but you can get it in the low back as well. Now, disc injuries, these are very common. See a lot of these in the clinic. You could have bulge disc, you could have herniated disc, you could have a degenerative disc, um, and all those can cause spinal stenosis as well. Now, you could have a fracture as well. Now, yeah, that can cause a lot of pain, as I can attest to. <laughs> And it could be a problem with your sacroiliac joint. It could be a sprain or a strain. Okay? It could be a hip pathology, or it could be arthritis. So there's a lot of different diagnoses that could be causing the pain. We need to know what's, what it is so we can fix it. Now, step two, we need to recognize the lifestyle pain triggers that you can control. Like I touched on a little bit earlier. So sleep position is one. Um, if you're sleeping on your stomach, typically that's bad because like I was talking about the spinal nerves exiting on the back part of the spine, if you're sleeping on your stomach, it puts your back into extension and it's gonna pinch those nerves. So yeah, you wanna stay off your stomach. Now, what type of mattress are you using? Typically mattresses, after five years, it's time to evaluate and get another one, okay? Even the high-end ones that you get that are well-made, spend a lot of money on, they still tend to break down over time. Now, what pillow are you using or pillows? That has a lot to do with stuff too. What kind of stress do you have in your life, uh, physical or mental? What's your posture like? Uh, a lot of times throughout our day, especially if we're working at an office type setting, we could, our posture tends to slump forward as we're working at a computer or anything else, even the manual stuff, uh, mechanics, constantly bending over, things like that. Footwear, uh, this has a lot to do with how you feel. You could have one foot that's uh, that's over pronating that could put pressure on your knees, which is going to aggravate your your hips. So we want to address that as well. Also, nutrition. What are you putting into your body now? Food, when you think about it, is essentially fuel for our body. And if you think about your car, if you put in fuel that's not good, your engine's probably not going to run as good as it should. Okay, so you want to put in good food in, into your body. Now, a lot of the foods that we eat today aren't really aren't really foods. They're they're really poisons that cause a lot of inflammation. Um, but I could talk a long time about that. I don't want to touch, you know, just want to touch on it. I don't want to get too in depth with it. Also, um, certain psychological factors about what, you know, what's going on in our life. Now, psychological factors can manifest themselves uh, as physiological symptoms in the body. So certain, you know, stress factors can cause us to have low back pain, shoulder pain. Um, so if we're not letting go of certain things, it'll actually make us hurt worse. Now also, what do you do for work? What do you do for your extracurricular activities? That has a lot to do with finding out what triggers your pain. Now, step three, 
It's an integrative treatment program. Okay, so what we want to do is diagnose the root cause, assess your lifestyle triggers, and then use an integrative approach to build a treatment program that's right for you. Okay. Now, with the integrative treatment program, what you want to do is you want to create a healthy mindset because, well, you can think yourself sick, you can think yourself better, okay? Um, now, if you think, oh, I'm never going to get better, I'm never going to do this, well, guess what? You're probably never going to. You want to keep a positive mindset when it comes to, to getting better, but also with everything in your life. So this is very critical. Also, you want to find out and improve what those lifestyle triggers are. Once we know what they are, we can either not do them or lessen them to the point where it doesn't affect us. Also, we want to incorporate stretching and some yoga type moves that can help relieve some of the pain and take pressure off some of those structures and find a way for stress management. Okay. Cause stress can cause a lot of things in our body. So we need an appropriate way to handle that stress and also na natural pain management. There's a lot of things naturally we can do to help with pain. So you don't have to take all these harmful medications, uh, the uh, anti-inflammatories, the narcotics. Uh, there's ways we can help without having to take that stuff that's really harmful to your body. Also beyond home therapies as well, because there might be some things you have to do. You may have to see a chiropractor, you may have to see a physical therapist, you may have to see a massage therapist or some other healthcare practitioners to keep things um, going like they're supposed to. Now, my number one back pain hack is finding your purpose for getting better, okay? Now, is it because you want to go to the gym again? Okay, is it because you want to be able to pick up your child? Do you like to ride a bike and you want to get back to doing that? Or do you want to go grocery shopping without feeling like you're in pain? And when someone comes in to see me, yes, they'll come in and they'll have low back pain, but a lot of times low back pain isn't the reason why they came in. The low back pain is interfering with some aspect of their life. And that's why they came to see me is to help with that aspect. It's not because they wanted to come hang out with Dr. Glover. It's because something affected your life to the point where, hey, I have to have somebody help me. Now, can you imagine waking up in the morning without low back pain, being a better parent, playing with your kids, grandkids, walking with your spouse without low back pain. That's what we're trying to accomplish here. Now, it's not just me getting the results. So here's someone that went through the protocol as well. And this, this is a few of the steps that she went through. Okay, she answered a few of the questions to understand where her pain was coming from. She found out what the root cause was, which is also the location of her pain. Her problem was with the sacred iliac joint, which we find going through all these different steps, okay? So step two, she identified the lifestyle factors like her sleep posture, stress level, and her mediocre diet that she's in control of, causing it to hurt, and started understanding what needed to change to get different results. And step three was she inter implemented lifestyle changes, removed mental and environmental barriers, and added new stretches to her daily routine for six weeks. Now she doesn't have sacred illic joint pain anymore because we identified what the cause was found out what the triggers were, and then found a way to remedy it so that doesn't come back. And that's what we want to do for you. <clears throat> now, this was just a, a testimonial that we had. Um, someone said, I would recommend Dr. Glover to anyone who was able to get my back into action after I threw my back out in only a couple of visits. After my first visit, I felt instantly better. Now, we see a lot of this stuff in the in my office, and this was just something that was thrown in here to help out with that. Now here's another one. Dr. Glover and his staff have been extraordinary in providing care for me when I had extreme neck and back pain. Dr. Glover took his time to discuss everything with me and I felt better soon after starting. I would definitely recommend Dr. Glover to anyone looking for pain relief or just regular chiropractic care. So we try to fit what your need is. There's not a one step uh, approach that um, fixes all things. Okay. So we have to be flexible. That's why we have to go through and see what's going to work for you. Okay. Cause everyone's a unique individual. So let me ask you, have you figured out how to get rid of your back pain in the next six weeks? 
Do you have a guide to make it happen? Or how would you like to be free from pain to do all the things you would love to do? Unfortunately, your low back pain won't fix itself. Generally, things left to their own devices go into chaos or this thing we call entropy. Okay, it's one of the laws of physics. Now, there are tons of ways you can relieve the symptoms, but you need the right approach to get to the root cause of the pain. Now, I know it sounds like we're being redundant here, but I want to stress how important finding the root cause of the pain is. So the recap, the three-step approach to pain freedom is finding the root cause, what's your diagnosis? What are the triggers that flare that up? And then what kind of treatments do we need to do to get that fixed so it doesn't bother you? That's the three steps. Now, three mistakes we want to avoid. Treating the pain symptoms and not the root cause. Letting other people's experience dictate the outcome of your success. Like I said, don't listen to your neighbors, your friends, or so, so kind of, uh, so-called friends sometimes. Uh, sometimes a lot of people that are very negative in your life um, that, that kind of want to bring you down. Okay, Don't let those people live for you. It's your life. And giving up without putting in the consistency and time. Like we talked about before, everything um, worth doing is doing good. Now, don't worry. I've got your back. And uh, <laughs> it's... <laughs> That's a corny joke, and uh, but I'm kind of a corny, um, corny person. So that's a little chiropractic humor there. So don't have to laugh at that. One. <laughs> so why did you show up today? Chances are you're showing up because you had low back pain. Because otherwise, why would you sit through a low back pain webinar? <laughs> okay. Now, what I want you to do, because visualization, visualization is very important. I want to imagine your life with your low back pain is entirely gone. No more waking up in pain every day. No more bed rests or couch rests for days. Sleeping like a baby at night. Playing with your kids. Chasing after them in the park. Lifting weights again. Without any worries or pain. You can feel better emotionally too because now you can enjoy each moment of your life. In other ways your life are looking up too. You're present again in your relationships and work with your financial situation. Now, it's time for you to conquer your low back pain and get rid of it for good. It's all about you. It's not about me. Okay? It's your time. So remember, nothing I've shared with you today is just theory. I've used every single one of these strategies to create an integrative approach to eliminate low back pain for myself and my patients. Now, I'm not supernatural, but I have been able to create an approach that works. If I can do this, so can you. I'm not a super special person. Okay? Now, Want to know how you can diagnose your low back pain, find the triggers, and eliminate all for good, all without medications and surgery? The obvious question is, how do I make this work for me so I can start seeing results quickly? Okay, well, there's option one. Uh, complicated and confusing. You can waste tons of time trying to figure out everything by yourself. Spend tons of money on harmful medications, countless doctor's visits, and treatment and symptoms, or even worse, surgery. Or there's option two. Just very simple and straightforward. Fast track your results with my step-by-step -step approach inside Freedom from Back Pain. Now, let's create an integrative but yet simple strategy to eliminate your low back pain. So, this is the Freedom from Low Back Pain course. Finding the root cause, eliminating the pain, and getting back in the game in six weeks. Now, here's a sneak peek at my six-week online program broken down into six easy to implement modules delivered weekly. Okay. We're going to have an introduction and getting started guide. Module one is going to be low back pain 101. So we're going to be talking about low back pain. We're also going to be talking about some anatomy of the back so we know how we what's going on and you can identify what structures are actually the problem areas. Because like I said, once we know the anatomy, we can say, oh, what's bothering us, we can get the proper diagnosis and then we can fix it correctly. Module two is diagnosing the cause. This is where we're gonna take you through a series of different tests to isolate what's causing your pain. So like we can, like I said, get to that proper diagnosis. 
Now, module three is lifestyle triggers, okay? Finding the triggers of the low back pain, like we said, is it your sleep posture? Is it your mattress? Is it the shoes that you're wearing? Is it your job? Is it all kinds of things? We're gonna be going over all, all that. Now, module four, fixing it through an integrative healing technique. So there's a lot of different things, a lot of different facets we're going to cover with. Uh, one thing is creating a healthy mindset going over the proper nutrition uh, for anti-inflammation. Also sleeping techniques as far as best postures, best beds to sleep in. Um, and then different exercises for your certain condition. So we're making sure we're doing the right exercise to fix the right thing. Now, module five, natural pain measure. Like I was saying, there's a lot of things that are naturally that we can take that have a lot of anti-inflammatory properties that won't harm our kidneys, our livers, and have a lot of negative side effects. Beyond home therapies, that's gonna be some uh, complementary and also alternative care stuff like we talked about, chiropractic, physical therapy, uh, massage therapy. Module seven is a bonus and some common struggles that may be preventing healing. So that's just an extra thing we threw in there. So. For the module recaps, we have module one is low back pain 101. Module two, diagnosing the cause. Module three, lifestyle triggers. Module four, fixing it through an integrative healing techniques. Module five, natural pain management. Module six, beyond home therapies. Module seven is our bonus, which is common struggles that may be preventing health. Now, also, you'll be getting three group coaching Q&A live sessions with me, that's Dr. Glover, that's me, okay, during the six-week program. Also, we're going to have a guide on how to find the best chiropractor, and these are all things that I wrote uh, that you are going to get uh, access to in the program. Also, we're going to have a guide for mattress shopping so you can sleep like a baby. People underestimate your mattress, so this is very, very important. Again, I wrote this. You're going to get this uh, with, with the program. Also, the footwear guide for shoe shopping to assure you're wearing the right shoes. Again, this is something that we wrote. Um, you're going to get this with the program as well as an added bonus. Also, what we talked about, having a positive mindset, we're going to have some guided affirmations you can go through that are going to help put you in a positive mindset so you can uh, heal faster, okay? If you're thinking negative, things aren't gonna work nearly as good for you. So we want to keep that positive healing mindset. Also, we have a seven day healing habits tracker, okay? We're gonna be giving that to you as well. Now, it's seven days, but of course, it, you can print it off so you can use it indefinitely so it's not just seven days. Um, but uh, yes, that is very valuable in itself. So that is a lot of extra bonuses that we're throwing in there for you. We're giving a three group coaching Q&A live sessions with me so we can try to go over, okay, what's working for you, what's not, and then if we need to tweak some stuff for you, because like I said, everybody's gonna be different, okay? So during that six week program, uh, the guide on how to find the best chiropractor for you to fit your needs, because everybody has different techniques and you want to find out what's the best match for you, okay? Also, the guide for mattress shopping, because sleep is very important. We need to have our rest. We need to have restful sleep so we can heal like we're supposed to. It's very crucial. Also, the footwear guide for shoe shopping. This is very underestimated for people, and I, I'm not sure why, um, but yeah, it all starts with your feet. The feet are the foundation, so you have to take care of your feet. Okay? Also, the guided affirmations to keep you in that positive mindset. Then the seven-day printable healthy habits tracker that's going to help kind of keep you accountable, okay? Now, all that together, total values is $6,732. Now, that's not what you're paying. That's just what it's worth, so I don't want anybody to have a sticker shot or whatever. Okay, so what you get is immediate program access to the course bonuses and the first two modules. Lifetime access to, our, to everything that we offer. 100% online and you can go at your own pace. So you're not rushed when you go into a clinic setting or a classroom setting, you know, there's only so much time that we have. Really, you can take all the time that, that you want. So so nobody feels rushed. I don't want anybody to feel rushed. 
Do I feel pressured mm -hmm. for time constraints? Yeah. Updates whenever my program changes. So as we add things, which we're going to be adding things as we go through, um, you'll have access to all that stuff. We'll have a members only community for support and accountability because, you know, a lot of times you, if say someone in your family, if you're the only one with a low back injury in your family, it's hard to empathize with someone that you, you might sympathize with them. Like, yeah, okay. They've got low back pain, but it's really hard to understand what it feels like unless you've been through it. So we're going to have some people going through the, the program that's going to be there to support you, you know, that have been there with you. Um, three of the group, coaching Q&A sessions with me, okay? Also short action-oriented training videos and presentations, follow along stretching videos. We're gonna show you how to do those stretches so you make sure you're doing them right. Okay? Guides, checklists, worksheets to kind of keep you all on track. Okay? Now, what you will create, you're gonna create a new way of approaching your low back pain a diagnosis of the root cause of your low back pain and what your problem is. You're going to create a unique strategy to treat based on your diagnosis. You're going to have a fresh mindset to help you in your healing journey. So if you have a flare up in the future, you're going to know what to do. A new knowledge of foods that help calm down the inflammation causing you pain. So it's not going to help only with this pain, but any pain you may have in the future. A new sense of self-worth and pride because once you know that you can fix things, it's very empowering. So I want you to be an empowered person. Okay. Now, for the uh, investment for the webinar special, it's going to be nine ninety seven. dollars Okay. So the total value for everything is $9,229, but you're not paying that. Like I said, um, all the values here are in red for everything. What you're getting, the entire Freedom from Back Pain program, lifetime access, and updates whenever the course changes, and the private Facebook group. You're going to get three of the group coaching Q&A sessions with me and the exclusive members-only Facebook community. Also, a guide on how to find the best chiropractor, the mattress shopping guide, the footwear guide for shoe shopping, the guided affirmations, and the printable healing habits tracker. Okay. So now we give a 30 day do the work money back guarantee. Now I'm not here to take anyone's money. We're not trying to fleece anybody of anything. Okay. So I'm so confident that you're going to be blown away by the level of support and strategies that you're waiting for you. But if for any reason you don't see the value in this program, simply send me an email within 30 days and I'll refund every penny of your investment. To be clear, you do need to try to implement the strategies, show concrete evidence of your action, and if it didn't work for you, I'll refund you. Like I said, I do stuff in this, they do this stuff in the clinic every single day, and we're trying to expand that into the internet here to help as many other people as possible. So we've got that guarantee right there. Now we had some questions come up, so I wanna go over those with you, okay? One was, what if I'm too busy to do this program? I know what it's like to not have much extra me time. That's why I designed this program to fit easily into your daily life. In fact, many of the lifestyle changes are simple and the healing movements in this program can be done in only two to three minutes. And on the days when you have more time to indulge, I include longer routines that are soothing, that are also enjoyable as they are relaxing. <clears throat> Got another question here. I've tried other treatments and programs and nothing has worked for me. Okay, that because in most cases, traditional treatment methods are meant to treat the symptoms of your pain without treating the cause. That is why so many people find themselves back in pain within months or weeks after completing treatment and feeling hopeless. But don't worry, if you found yourself in the same situation, you didn't do anything wrong. The Freedom of Back Pain system is designed to address the root cause of your back pain so that your body can sustain its healthy, pain-free alignment for the long term. Now, here's another question here. I'm not in the best shape. Will I still be able to do this program? Well, absolutely. Um, now each phase of this program has multiple levels, so it doesn't matter how old you are or what kind of shape you're in. You'll experience wonderful benefits at any age. 
Uh, in fact, the diagnostic uh, poses that we do in the second module can be done even while sitting or leaning on a chair. So if you have limited mobility, you can easily follow along and get all the same great results. So final step, check your email. So what happens is once you sign up, you're going to get an email from us. Okay. Now, after you approach us, you'll receive an email with instant access to the introduction, getting started guide, and the first two modules. <clears throat> the remaining modules will be released. The remaining modules will be released so I can best guide you through the treatment process and you have time to adjust all the weekly modules. Now, the course start date is going to be November 25th, 2019, and runs through January 5th, 2020. Now, take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. Now, this is a quote from a uh, great man, Jim Rohn. He was a motivational speaker. He's passed away now, but he's really changed my, uh, changed my life and the way I out, uh, my outlook on life, um, so to speak. And uh, I wanted to put that one in there because it's, it's true. Uh, we only have one body. You need to take care of it, man. Now, the definition of insanity, like we talked about earlier, is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Now, think about the return on your physical, mental, and emotional investment. What's it worth? Now, imagine waking up in the morning, each morning without pain and more energy than ever. Improve relationships because you can show up physically, mentally, and emotionally. That's what happened to me, okay? Why can't it happen for you? Okay. All right, guys. We'll see you in the course.